When you're driving long distances on unsealed surfaces, such as the ones out here in the West Macdonnell Ranges, you need a tough tyre to go the distance. This type of terrain can be pretty hard on your tyres, so let's have a look at what's important when it comes to durability and wear life. Neil, what we've got here are two destroyed tyres to show us what a cutaway looks like of a passenger car construction tyre, the type that's fitted standard to four wheel drives out of the factory, and an LT construction tyre. There are some obvious differences. The surprising thing is though, that they're actually the same section tyre, yet this looks much bigger and much stronger. Well basically Al, this one is, uh, as you said, a light truck construction tyre and uh, this is a passenger spec tyre as you said. But the differences are everywhere from the, the top to the bottom, they're vastly different tyres. First of all, and probably the most obvious, is the tread depth. We have more under tread gauge, which helps to buffer out those yeah. uh, cuts and punctures that when you often see. So that's protecting the steel cords. Yep. And obviously there also is the, the size of the steel belts themselves. Yeah. They're so you can obviously see obviously much heavier, aren't they? Quite bulky compared to the yeah. much smaller passenger yep. version. And uh, then obviously, of course, the sidewalls are thicker. Yes. The bead area is thicker. We call this the apex or the bead. Mm. Now the, the tread depth, it's obviously deeper. So why not make it deeper still. That, that would be nice if we could just go taller <laughs> yeah, and uh, be perfect. away you go. There's a couple of important catches. Um, firstly, the, we get a lot of tread squirm. Uh, the deeper the tread is, right. the more the tread itself uh, deflects under So the load. blocks are getting the unstable. squirm and yep. as they're loaded from uh, heavy side loads right. or front and rearwards, they actually contort and uh, that means that at the steering wheel, you feel quite a, a sloppy oh, or yeah, yeah, you unstable would, handling yes. feel. Yep. So that's that's one important reason why you can't have too great a tread depth. Sure. The second one is heat buildup, um, where we must manage the amount of heat that's built up in the tyre as it's running down the down the road under it's, load it's and flexing, speed. isn't it? It's flexing Obviously. constantly. Every time it rotates around, it flexes. Mm -hmm. The side walls flex, yep. and you get heat buildup all throughout the tread area. And uh, most noticeably on the shoulders here, uh, as you can see, that's the largest amount of rubber in the tread section. Um, and we get extremes of heat in this area. We've got to maintain a uh, manageable mm. uh, heat in that area. Right, so it's obvious why light truck construction tyres are much better for the roads we're on at the moment with these stones yep. than, a, than a passenger car construction yeah, tyre. Um, you get all the advantages of more tread depth and uh, greater puncture resistance. Mm, okay. Which means uh, more wear life and uh, longer running on the road. Well, we've found from experience without knowing all the precise technical differences that LT tyres work much better in the bush. Now we know why. Yep. Bridgestone Dueler D697s include the following innovations to provide excellent puncture resistance. 